Greetings from the land of the Greyhounds. My name is Doc Elder. My privilege to be the voice of Eastern New Mexico Athletics, and it is my privilege tonight to be the guy that hosts Media Day for Greyhound Men's Basketball. I've got Brent Owen. He, of course, the head coach of Greyhound Basketball. Got a returning player, Greg Johnson. We've got a new player, Lyron Bennett. And coach, We'll start out with you. Obviously, it was a great year for Greyhound basketball last year with a notable accomplishment at the end of the season. Uh, yeah, we, we set out, um, you know, we were picked pretty pretty low on the list last year to start the season. We set out um, with a team goal of, you know, trying to make the conference tournament. We were able to accomplish that, accomplish some really um, other positive things along the way. Um, you know, still just a little bit of an empty feeling, you know, um, made it to the conference tournament, didn't play well. Um, but we accomplished kind of what we set out to do last season, um, but this is a new year, a new team, and we certainly have new goals and we certainly have higher goals. Well, certainly the Lone Star Conference giving you a little bit more love this year than they did last year. Last year, you were predicted to finish 15th. This year, you were predicted to finish 8th. We were, and we didn't, um, you know, we, we were picked 15th last year and we didn't finish 15th, and we were picked 8th this year, and we don't intend on finishing 8th this year. We, we think we can do better than that, and, um, you know, hopefully, uh, I, I guess we'll, maybe we'll be less surprising this year um, but uh, because, because of some of the success that we've had. But, um, you know, we want to be uh, we want to compete for a championship and uh, and be playing good enough in March to get into the NCAA tournament and, and potentially make a run. So that's that's my goal for this group uh, is is we want to be an NCAA tournament team. And obviously there's not going to be eight Lone Star teams in the NCAA tournament. So we've got to finish better than eighth to do that. But. I think we've got a team that uh, is capable of doing that, and uh, we just hope to show it uh, on the court really soon. You were at or near the lead in a lot of statistical categories last year. What's the one category this year that's going to be most important to you that we finish at or near the top in? Yeah, rebounding is always going to be really important to me. I just I think it's a it's a sign of how hard you're playing. It's a sign of how tough you are. I also think it's a sign of how well you're playing defensively. Um, and, and so I think that's, that's the number that I worry about the most is, is rebounding, rebound margin. Um, we led the league in offensive rebounds last year. We'd like to do that again. Um, and think we have some pieces to do it, but, um, it's, it's not an easy thing. This team, this, uh, this league is full of athletes and, and, uh, full of coaches that really know what they're doing. So, um, that is something that I'll be paying attention to closely. Um, it is, it is nice to see some bodies colliding in practice right now for, for rebounds. That's always a good sign that you're probably going to be pretty good at it. Um, we recruited some rebounding. We returned some rebounding. So um, we'll see where it goes. But that's definitely something that I'm very interested in seeing. We'll obviously have some new players this year, one of whom we're going to be talking to in a minute. But uh, you're also going to have a couple of new coaches with you on the bench. I am, yeah. Coach Tyrone Grady is joining us. Uh, he has uh, spent some time at the Division II level, spent some time at the junior college level, was a high school coach and an AU coach, um, and, and has been just awesome so far. Um, he is... Uh, he is strict. I might, I might get a, I might get a smile out of these guys. Um, he is, he's on him, man. But uh, he really, really deeply cares, and, and I, and I think they know that. So that allows him to, to be strict. Um, and, and to be honest, it's taken a little bit of the, of that load off of me, and has, has allowed me to focus more on the basketball side of things a little bit, and, and uh, in the relationship side of things a little bit. So um, he's been really positive. Then we added Cesar Flores. Um, he was at New Mexico State. Uh, had a lot of success there. As a part of their program, um, and then he was with the uh, Wichita Semi Pro team last year, and then was uh, started out this season as a GA at Northwestern State, and then we kind of stole him over here. And uh, he's an he's a uh, Rio Rancho native, and and uh, glad to have him here with us. He's been awesome, just a, a really really hard worker, a young a young man that is uh, really passionate about this, and, and is excited to have this opportunity and excited to be here. Well, coach, you were nice enough to bring two of your players, and we'll. Uh turn our attention to the gentleman to my right. This, is, of course, is Greg Johnson. And uh, Greg, your first year on the Lone Star Conference last year, what were your impressions of conference play? Uh, first game, we got smacked in the mouth pretty hard. So it was a wake-up call for it. And I think people counted us out early. And we kind of turned it around and showed the league what we were capable of. And for you personally, what was the high point of the season? For you from a team standpoint, what do you think the high point of the season was? Uh, we had a time after Christmas, I think we buckled down defensively and we played defense pretty well. We rebounded at a high rate, which won us a lot of games. And as far as an individual game, uh, there, you were excellent in a lot of games, so it would be hard to pick one. But I, I'd say maybe the 
come back against Lubbock Christian where you were down five points with only a few seconds to go and won that game. That that had to be a personal thrill. Now, nah, yeah, we got some big stops down the stretch, and Blaje came through with a deep three at the end of the game. Uh, Arrow tipped it, got an offensive. Blaje got an offensive rebound, went back up. That was huge for us. Well, Greg, if you were a scout in the Lone Star Conference and doing a scouting report on Greg Johnson, what do you think people would say about you? Um, strong driver, can shoot the mid range well, uh, and a two way player, um, and capable of making threes. And Greg, I'll ask you a question, kind of uh, philosophically. Where does where does the future lie for Greg Johnson? What do you hope to do uh, a couple years from now? What do you hope to be doing ten years from now? Um, hopefully, um, get stronger, get my mental right. Um, thanks for Coach always staying on me about rebounding because that'll give me a good chance to make my enter into my pro career because I really want to go pro after this year. So yeah. I got to pick it up on the rebound again. But Coach O be on me all the time. So, yeah, I'm going to get there. That's going to get there. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll introduce a new member of the Greyhound squad. This is Lyron Bennett, a proud native of Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah. And you are coming here. Uh, you had experience at a uh, couple of universities. Why did you choose Eastern New Mexico for this year? Um. But I was talking to Coach Owen and um, Coach Grady over the phone. I just felt like uh, they took the, like, when we spoke over the phone, they really, like, told me about myself, about my game. So it's like they really cared. It's like they really studied me, made sure, like, I was a good fit for this offense, just a good fit for this team. And um, also just telling me, like, the culture here was just really good. And talking to them consistently, like, I feel like that's the most important part is consistency. So speaking to them almost on a daily basis just, like, made a great feeling for me. Well, Aaron, every time you go to a different school, there's always one person that really is the bridge, the one person that really helps take you under his wing and yeah. kind of show you the ropes. So who's been the guy that has really been the best kind of ambassador for Greyhound basketball? Uh, I can say Coach Grady. Yeah, um, I was talking to Coach O a lot, and then I started to talk to Coach Grady a lot. He was calling me. We talk throughout the day and morning and night, just checking on me, talk about regular stuff, basketball. So I feel like it's going to be ready. Well, you come in with some accolades at a previous school, your all-conference, uh, where you were before. Where do you see your role? What do you see you bringing to the Greyhound squad this year? Uh, this is a great team. I just feel like I can bring um, another level of leadership on the team. I feel like we have a lot of leaders already, but I feel like I can bring another – level of leadership here. I can um, just um, help control the offense, be the guard that, be an all-conference guard that I know I can be and that my coaches believe I can be and my teammates. So just here to fill those shoes. And let me ask you a question philosophically that I asked Greg, where do you see yourself like in a, a year from now? Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Uh, a year from now, hopefully overseas. 10 years from now, hopefully again. At least six figures overseas getting a good contract. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's one of my main goals. Took me years to get to six figures. <laughs> I hope you get there your first year. So, well, coach, we'll uh, finish up with a couple questions about you. Um, if people come out and watch the Greyhounds in person, whether it's on the road or here uh, in Portales, New Mexico, or if they watch you on the Lone Star Conference Network, what's the one thing that you hope? people will say about Greyhound basketball? They play really hard and they play really well together. Um, you know, I just think that if you've got a team, um, you know, you can have a lot of talent and, and a low motor, we call it in coaching. You know, when we're recruiting, houses motor. Um, and when you have a lot of talent and, and your motor's not very good, you're pretty average. Um, but if you can have some talent and then get the guys to, to play hard and have a high motor, um, you know, I think that's when you have really good teams. And, and I think those are the teams that are fun to watch. Sometimes you see a team that's really talented and they kind of find a way to sneak out wins, but they, you know, get a little lackadaisical. And I, I really don't enjoy watching those teams. But I think the teams that are just go all out, um, you know, are getting loose balls, taking charges, fighting for rebounds, really like getting down and clinch, you know, fist clinch, defending. Um, I think those are the teams that are fun to watch. And I think that's a team that, that you'll see with us. Um, you know, obviously we had a lot of success in Greyhound Arena. So I really, really hope our fans will come out and, and support us. Uh, we, we're hosting opening weekend, the, the conference challenge. 
Um, so it's us and Angelo State versus um, Fort Lewis and Highlands. That's November 10th and 11th. We will play at 7.30 both nights. Just I'm begging people to come out and, and support that event. The women are hosting as well, so we'll have eight games in Greyhound Arena in two days. Um, that'll be really exciting for Portales. And uh, it's, those, are, those games are incredibly important for uh, region rankings and for the goal that we just talked about in making the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, we've got two um, in-region foes coming to our home court. We've got to take care of business right away. So those games are huge. I really hope people come out, come out and support us. Well, Coach, uh, I'm broadcasting all eight of those games for the Lone oh Star goodness. Conference <laughs> Network, so uh, I can't wait either. Well, Coach, thanks so much. A great success last year. We wish the best of luck. Lyron, welcome to Eastern Mexico University. Greg, hope you have another great year for the Greyhounds. So for those aforementioned people, this is Doc Elder saying, sell on.